risky behavior. Pronouns don't change what you are. It's something as multiple genders in nature, correct? So funguses, they actually have a very wide variety of genders. And a lot of people actually would compare human beings to fungus because so show me a non-binary fungus. Literally show me a two-spirit fungus. I can't show you. Show me a fungus that wants to be to call them they and we. Yeah. You're, 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 not, you're not making sense, bro. You're not making sense. Yeah. I was going to tell them that too. It's not a mammal. We're mammals. Um, you know that there's, there's dolphins. Dolphins only have two genders. Whales only have two genders. But the thing is, is if it was natural, we, we, we'd see it in nature. We see it in nature. Pardon me? Like they switch sex from what to what? Man to female? Yes. Or man to non-binary? Male to female, but you're also trying you're also trying to discredit just trans people as a whole. No, um, I'm just saying you're wrong and you know you're wrong. Amen. Well no, yeah. there's clownfish, there's hey, snails, which are hermaphrodites. Frogs. Humans have intersectionality. They What's are a hermaphrodite? Something that's male and female. Okay, so that's two. You're making you're further making my point. Right, but show me something with three or four or five genders. Amen. Hermaphrodite Amen. is a type of sex where you have combined chromosomes of male and female. Of what? Male and female. That's two. The combined. <laughs> that's Amen. That's two. And that, that's my point. There's only two. Amen. Amen. Exactly. Name the third one. Name the fourth one. Name the fifth one. And they're lost. Look at the face. Lost. Look at the face. Loss. Dum da dum dum dum. That's all he's saying. Name the third one. This ain't about disc um discrediting somebody that's trans. Okay, you you got someone that feels like they're another sex. That's understandable you can get that it's, it's, it's not hard to wrap your brain around cool it, it's the same thing as somebody that has um what's it if, if they're an, um, anorexia right that's somebody that's um they, they skinny you know they look in the mirror and they see somebody that's big we can understand that because we know that skinny people exist we know that Big people exist. So I could understand that if you show me somebody that thinks that they're big, but they're really not. I know, OK, something in their brain is telling them that they're big. Cool. But I still know that skinny and big people exist. If there's a man and he wants to be a woman, I know man exists. I know woman exists. I can understand that. If it's a woman that wants to be a man, I know women exist. I know man exists. I can understand that. Whatever is going on in that person's brain or their spirit is causing them to think there's something that they may not be. But I know that that thing that they may not be does exist. But to say that I'm neither male and I'm neither female, I'm something else. Now that I cannot get because if you're not male and you're not female, what are you? And I think what they try to do is see, he, they say, oh, this person said, well, which I assume is a she, right? They're trying to say, oh, you're trying to discredit trans people. No, m majority of the time they're discrediting um, trans people, in my opinion, because they try to make trans people the weirdos and say that they're not, you know, that's how they really try to act. That's what they're doing, right? Because I can understand a trans person all day long. I can understand somebody thinking that there's something that they're not cool. But I know that either way, if you a male thinking you a female, I know either way that male and females exist. But then you got this group of people that say there's something that we know that don't exist. We don't see no evidence of it. They just say, well, I'm not a male. I'm not a female. What are you? Oh, I'm uh, I'm on a spectrum. So you don't even have a name for it. And what would be the purpose of you? Because we know why we have two different sexes. We know what sex is for. We know we have to procreate. We have to have children. We have to have babies. We have to keep our species going. 
but you just invent something that is like, and people keep asking you to name it and you can't, but then you'll say people, oh, well, you don't want to accept us. We're trying our hardest. <laughs> We're asking you what it's called and you can't um, tell us. It's like somebody telling you, hey, I want you to meet me, um, meet me over in the city I live in. Okay, what city you live in? Oh, well, you know, I really can't, you know, the name of the city. You know, I just can't tell you. So, uh, so how would you meet them there? It makes no sense. They're taking you somewhere and it doesn't exist. And you're just driving on this endless road to a destination that's not even there. It, it, now, that's my point. There's only two. You, you'll never see a, a non-binary, uh, non-binary zebra. You'll never see a, a two-spirit horse. Amen. You'll never see a frog that thinks he's a, a monkey. Amen. This is a this is a this is dysphoria. The medical community calls this gender dysphoria. Dysphoria um, call, uh, is drawn from from a word of dysfunction. So that means this it's a it's a it's a it's it's your brain is not functioning correctly, and and this is why you're thinking these things. My my main question I actually came here for: Are you here like if? It were up to you, but you have shut this con convention down entirely. No. No? no. Why is that? Because I believe in freedom. You have the freedom to do whatever you want to do. I have the freedom to do whatever I do. The moment you can't do it, the moment you can't, you don't have freedom. I'm sorry, no, I'm you. The moment you don't have freedom to be who you are and do what you want to do is the moment I don't have freedom to preach the gospel. So, so. Woo. And I think that's what it's about, man. We all got the freedom to talk, give our um, opinions and talk and conversate. And this is how um, people learn about each other. As long as people don't have that chip on their shoulder and think that you're trying to take away their rights and stuff like that. And I'm glad that he said that. And I like how he worded it and how he said it is that you got your freedom. I got my freedom and stuff. But with all due respect, you know, you don't make sense, but. Anywho, thank y'all for tuning in. Um, be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit that like button. Share if you would like to share with someone else. Maybe y'all can have that conversation with each other. Um, be sure to drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Risky out. Risky behavior.